Now, you can clear the table. You just made me mess myself up. Get out. And don't forget to bring something to clean up this mess. I said get out! Thank you so much, Mr. Robert. You know, this means a lot to me. I'll be on that flight in the morning. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. There is no problem. So I need you to get to the flight tomorrow. You'll be coming over to the state. And you'll be staying in the company's property. I'm out of the country now, but I'll see you immediately when you're back. Wow. A job with an apartment? That is really nice. Yes, everything you saw in my resume is very true. I have actually worked in um, a charity organization and I handle Kate very well. Okay, I'm so happy to hear that. So I guess I'll be seeing you. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Robert. Okay, bye for now. Bye. God, I finally got the job. This is amazing. I need to start packing. Oh, I'll do that in the morning. Yes. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, and uh, who are you? Are you the new head of departments that the NGO employee? Yes. Ma'am, my name is Anne. I'm in charge of the apartment the company owns. So, you're the maid in charge of the apartment the company gave me? Yes, ma'am. I see. Let me help you with your bag. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, you possibly don't think I'm going to allow you to touch my bag with your filthy hands. Don't worry. Just walk. I'll I'll walk behind you, okay? Lead the way. Enjoy your meal, ma'am. Hey, hey, hey. And where are you going to? I want to go finish up my task. No. You served me, so you're supposed to stand while I eat in case I need something else. Mm, in fact, you're not supposed to stand. You're supposed to kneel down. Because if you're standing, it feels like you're standing above my head. I'm sorry, ma. I have served a lot of people in this house and no one has ever treated me like this. This is just not right. Really? Are you trying to banter words with me? Listen, in the next few days, I am going to be appointed the head of this foundation. And I will be in the position to say who gets fired and who stays here. Okay? I'm very sorry, Ma. I, I do not want to get fired. I really do need this job. Oh, really? Um, why do you need the job? Ma, I, 
I feed my family and I feed my two kids off this job, please, ma. Oh, um, why is your husband? He's dead. He died a long time ago. I see. I see you really need this job. So when I tell you to kneel, you kneel! Now go down. I said go down! Nonsense. Poor people trying to act like they have an option. And clear the table. I think I'm done. What? Where are you taking my drink to? You asked me to clear the table, ma'am. Did I ask you to take my drink? But, ma, the dining table includes everything on it. Oh. Are you trying to say that I don't know what I'm talking about? No, ma'am. This should be the last time you touch my drink. I did ask you. Now, you can clear the table. You just made me mess myself up. Get out. And don't forget to bring something to clean up this mess. I said get out! Don't forget to come and clean this mess up. Nonsense. <laughs> I wonder why these poor people think they have an option, like they have any say. <sighs> Just made me spill this. Yes, what do you want? They brought some documents and I left them on the dining for you. All right, you can go. I'll be there. much this orphanage makes ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars three hundred thousand dollars oh my god there's even so many open checks that means if I cash any of them, no one would know. Ah, this is good. Whew. This is... <laughs> oh my God. This is money. 
Hello. Hey babe, what's up? Hmm. I'm alright. So you just had my time. I've called you several times. Anyways, I was calling because I have a very good gist for you. I'm sorry. I have been so busy lately. Is the gist still valid? Yeah. Do you remember the job I told you I was applying for? The one with the NGO? I finally, or should I say, I am finally going to get it. And guess what? What? Do you know that these NGO people have a lot of money? I mean, people are donating a lot, like $100,000, $200,000, and there are so many open checks. Look, girl, I am in here for the money. I mean, I am going to find a way to divert all the funds to my account. But I hope no one is there with you. No, there's no one here. Except for a maid that they employed to be taking care of me in the apartment. And you know this poor people. I'm sure she wants to impress me. So she dare not open her stinking mouth to say anything to anybody. Alright, I'm happy for you babes. Thank you so much my darling. Don't worry. I'm going to be very rich soon. And I'm actually thinking of a way that... After diverting the funds to my personal account, I want to invest more in properties, expensive cars, jewelries, and, and so many things. And don't worry, I'm personally going to take you on that trip to Maldives. Wow. But well, how are you going to go for the trip? Uh, I'm just going to tell them that I have a charity program. <laughs> Alright, my darling, I will talk to you later. Bye, love. <laughs> Mia. <laughs> I'm sure she's so happy for me. Come in. Oh, Mr. Robert, you're here. Please sit down. Oh, good afternoon, Miss Wendy. Good afternoon. I've been expecting you. Yeah, I can see the maid is taking care of you. Oh. Um, she's trying. But I think when I resume my position fully, there are a lot of things I'm going to make changes. All right, um, I have enough document here. But, um... We're so glad to have you resume as the head of this organization. Thank you so much. So um, what we're going to do is that you're going to sign. Okay. And after you sign, the boss is going to sign. Since the boss is also going to sign, that means I can't sign yet. And I hope the boss is not going to be late because, you know, I've been waiting for so long for you to even get here. The boss is here. I don't understand. The boss is here. The only person here is the maid and you. Except you're the boss. I'm not the boss. So who is... Wait. No. I... Wait. Is she the boss? She is the boss. What? But how? I don't understand. Well, Miss Wendy, this is one of the most reputable charity organizations. And our reputation precedes us. We want to get the best of this job. Um, managing this branch is a whole lot. Normally we do this test and check on our own. But the boss here insists on doing this one herself. The person you've been calling the maid is not the maid. She's the owner of this charity organization. She wanted someone capable, so she disguised as a maid to test you. Oh my God. No, no, no. What is the problem? Didn't you pass the test? I'll take it from here, Mr. Robert. May I have the documents? Pen? <sighs> Ma, please. I am very sorry. 
I never knew you. You were the owner of this organization. Please, I really need this job. I am so sorry. I, I would have treated you better. I, I really don't know what to say right now. Miss Wendy, you thought I was a nobody. You practically opened up to me that you would siphon the company's funds for your private pleasures. Money meant for the less privileged. If that was what my company was built upon, do you think we'd have the resources to employ you? I'm really sorry, please. Miss Wendy, you're not sorry. Or maybe you are, but you're only sorry that you got caught. Secondly, look at how you treated me. Imagine I was actually a maid. You would have treated me anyhow. You very uselessly. And you were brought here to take care of the masses, people who your maid was supposed to represent. That's not what this company stands for. Please. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were the boss. I would have treated you better. See, the best way to know someone Someone's true character is by a test. And you know already that you failed woefully. Okay, Ma. But Ma, will I still get the job? I really need it, please. You know by now you're not getting the job. We don't want you coming to taint the image that we've built. You would not only not be getting the job, everything you said, everything you did was recorded. And I would send every copy to the last, to every charity organization and NGO. You would not be getting any job within that circle. We don't want you bringing your dirty character anywhere, especially within the charity circle. I'm sorry, Ma. Please, Mr. Robert, please help me beg her, please. Mr. Roberts, please, escort her out of this building. You will take her upstairs, make sure she takes only what she came in here with. Nothing more. Please leave. I'm, I'm sorry. 